everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again tonight and I'm tying a very, very simple but very deadly little fly. It's the Flecker Bug. Uh, I come up with this part in about, well, I mean, like I say, I come up with it, it's a very nice suspended buzzer. I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, um, I was fishing in the spring water in Ayrshire with Davy McPhail and a couple of other guys. And there were some migrating spiders, they were tiny, size 18, 20. And uh, I tied this up to try to imitate them and it worked quite well. And it also works for sort of fussy fish on midges as well. So the hook I've got in the vise is a size 16, uh, TM code TMC2487. You can also use a Camazan B100, which I, I actually prefer the B100 for this fly just because it's not a continuous bend on the shank, the same as this. Um, but this is fine. 16 is about as big as I would tie it. I'd, I'd maybe go to a 14. But um, it seems to work better in smaller sizes, 16 to 20, 22. So I've run on some black thread, just over the first third of the hook there. I'm going to take some, this is pearly flat braid, my lagerton, it's the same sort of stuff you'd use for bonefish bodies or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to catch in a short length of that. And you pull off a couple of inches and it'll do 10 flies. Just catch that in, tidy it up, and then I'll just come in and I'll just sort of trim that just, just beyond the back of the hook. Don't need to be even. I'm going to take some black foam. Just got a strip that I've cut from a block. Just going to catch that in. Nice and tight, wind back, and just tear away the excess. Here's your nice taper. Then take your lump of foam and fold it forwards to create a nice wee bump. See that there? Right. Catch it in. Nice and tight. That will sort of draw in and compress a wee bit. And then you can just again just tear away the waste and then tidy up. Now I know that might look a wee bit big in comparison to the rest of the fly, but this foam sort of lost in the surface film anyway in the mirror, so you don't need to worry about that. The fish are just looking like this area. And you need to make sure you've got enough foam that it's floating. So the, the last stage in this is just a wee bit of black dubbing, anything you like. I'm using super fine possums, all right, rabbit, whatever, whatever, whatever black dubbing you have to hand. It's, it makes absolutely no difference. And just wind a wee short body, so I let it sort of taper a wee bit at the front. That's it. Pull the foam back, a quick hot finish, another one just for security, three is plenty, trim away the excess. And there you have it, a very simple but absolutely deadly little pattern. And this, if you fish, if you fish trout or anything else eats bugs, especially still waters, smaller still waters, this is an absolute killer pattern. As I say, I tied it to try to sort of imitate the migrating spiders, they were drifting in the reed, 
um, web balloons. But it's a very good bridge pattern as well. Um, other wee gnats and things. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, you can share this with anybody who you think it would appeal to. So, uh, thanks for watching and tight lines, guys. Bye.